Well, good evening. Van Cap and Woody C. here. Uh, take two on the Arctic air uh, evaporated air cooler. I got everything uh, back together. I got me a new unit. Got the water filled in on the side. She's on high right now. Looks like I like it. Cool air is coming out the front. And uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but I'm on newfound gap. That's what I'm going to plan on spending the night. But, um, you know, they exchanged it. Give me another one. I had them tested out before I left up there this time because I didn't want to come all the way back again. And uh, so far, so good. Test number two, Arctic Air. Half a thumb so far. Uh, I'll let y'all know. I'm going to let it run overnight and let you know how it feels. Uh, so I'll talk to y'all soon. Hey, how y'all doing? Van Cap and Woody C here. Well, I tested out the um, Arctic Air. I tested it out uh, yesterday in full sun with just the front windshield shaded. Um, it struggled to get the temperature down in, inside, the humidity inside the vehicle, inside my minivan. But when I moved to a, a shaded area, uh, it cooled it right down. Um, comfortable enough well you know where I can relax and rest and but um I'm not really impressed with it really um, I've tested it I've tried it I got a $40 weight now um paper weight I guess I would use it for it's really designed the Arctic Air is designed to be inside no more than two feet away from you and um it uses the humidity inside uh, to convert the water as being drawn into the filter to cool air. It doesn't matter if you put ice in the water uh, reservoir. Whatever the humidity temperature is, that's what it's going to blow the, te the cool temperature coming out. So it doesn't make it. It doesn't make the air any colder. I, I put uh, ice cold water in it. I tried just regular old uh, water. I, I drink nothing but bottled water. So um, now the filters, they recommend you replace them every three to six months. Uh, I recommend cleaning it uh, using white vinegar uh, or some type of non-detergent soap. Um, but I... Um, the humidity over here on the East Coast, you know, for the last couple of days, has been up in the, uh, the humidity levels, been up in the 80s. I'm down into the 70s now, and uh, so uh, you know it's cool for me at night, and that's what I wanted to cool me off at night. So um, I'm only going to give it a thumb and a half, no two thumbs, but uh, you know. I can see using it out in the more uh, less humid or humid uh, temperatures of out west. So I'm looking forward to trying it out there. And I also want to try it out with all my windows blocked out in broad daylight. You know, so, um, but, um, you know, buyer beware. If you get it, um, if you buy it in an as seen on TV store, have them test it right there at the counter to make sure the fan works correctly. The first one I got, fan switch was messed up on it. And uh, then I had a big rigmarole war. They didn't want no water in it. It had to be bone dry. Uh, I set the filter out in the sun to uh, get it dried. and uh, But they did exchange it for me, but there's no refunds. So um, think about that. Um, for now, Van Camp and Woody C here. I hope the uh, last two uh, tests on the Arctic Air gave you some information. Uh, if you liked the video, share it. And um, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see y'all uh, in a little bit.